People may not know that enzymes are proteins, or that insulin and human growth hormone are proteins as well, but they are likely to know that muscles are made of protein. And that is sort of true, although the major component of muscle is water, to the extent of about 75%. The rest is protein, about 18%, with smaller amounts of fats, carbohydrates, and minerals. So a logical assumption is that eating more protein leads to increased muscle mass. That is not true. Increased muscle mass and strength come from resistance training, not from more protein. Larger steaks do not equal to larger muscles. Yes, there has to be adequate protein intake to supply the amino acids the body needs to make the proteins required for muscle enlargement, but that requirement can be met by a proper diet without having to resort to the numerous protein-enriched products that battle for shelf space in supermarkets. There are protein-enriched cereals, breads, yogurts, bars, drinks, and of course powders to make protein shakes. But it is better to reach for the barbells than these products. The scientific literature is replete with studies about a daily requirement for numerous nutrients so that there is no shortage of information about our protein needs. For a sedentary middle-aged adult with a body weight of 165 pounds, requirement is about 60 grams. Unfortunately, aging is accompanied by loss of muscle mass, raising the requirement after age 50 to the vicinity of 80 grams. Regular exercisers need roughly 100 grams. Weightlifters or athletes training for running or cycling events should consume around 125 grams. To get a feel for amounts, consider that a 12-ounce rib steak delivers about 90 grams of protein, a chicken breast 50, cup of yogurt 15, glass of milk 8, and a salad with some egg and tofu 30 grams. Western diet staples like Big Macs, pizza, ham and cheese sandwich, peanut butter sandwich can contribute 50, 30, 20, and 10 grams respectively. It is obvious that our requirement can be met through foods, but for anyone thinking they may not be getting enough protein, a scoop of protein powder can add 25 to 30 grams. More is definitely not better because any extra proteins, fats, or carbs in the diet get converted into body fat. In any case, studies have shown that extra protein does not translate to extra muscle, and neither does the timing of eating protein matter. It doesn't have to be consumed just before or just after a workout. In summary, to build muscles, you need adequate protein intake, but it is your arms and legs, not your mouth, that has to do the real work. That for today is our Cup of Joe.